On Thursday, GoSoutheast.com began a two-part Day in the Life series with Southeast Missouri State University Director of Athletics, Mark Allnut. We tagged along with Mr. Allnut as he participated in several events both on and off the Southeast campus. Mr. Allnut headed over to the Towers first thing Thursday morning to help students with their moves into the residence halls. Plenty of other Red Hawk student-athletes and coaches were also spread out at various locations on campus to lend a helping hand. Okay. Where are you from? Um, thank you. I'm Mark Alna. I'm the director of athletics here at Southeast. You look like you can carry just about everything. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you guys are going to wear me out. I have a long day here. So 310 North, all right? Okay. Bringing in a box of stuff here <laughs> from, a, from a freshman, St. Genevieve, Missouri. It's about an hour north of here. No, great city for Southeast. Come on, let's go right up here. From there, Mr. Allnut headed over to Merrick Hall to meet and greet more students. While Mr. Allnut was handing out promotional materials and welcoming incoming freshmen to Southeast, we stepped away to give you an end zone view of Houck Stadium from one of the rooms in this souped up residence hall. It's move-in day here at Southeast Missouri State, and we're spending the day with Southeast Director of Athletics, Mark Allnut. Mark and uh, a lot of the Southeast student-athletes are helping new students move in to the dorms and in other areas on campus. Mark, let's talk about uh, how our athletes and uh, yourself are getting out in the community to um, help these students out. Well, it's very important, first of all, to be visible for, for our athletic department, to get our, get our brand out, you know, be able to market our programs. And I tell you what, the weather's not too hot out here. The sun's out a little bit, but this is tremendous, seeing all of our newcomers coming in, moving into the residential halls. But then again, you have uh, people like myself, Coach Samuel, you know, the football team, you have fraternities, sororities, other student organizations, just out here making this transition easy. It's great. I mean, you're work, getting a nice little workout in here, going up, uh, you know, about 12 floors and, and helping move some refrigerators and other various items into the, the dorm. But uh, how's that going for you? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, Jeff, my very first trip, you know, I was eager to help someone out and I grabbed a couple of boxes. And, you know, the thing I, the mistake that I made is I forgot to ask what, what room. And when they said it was 1107, that's okay, no problem. Towers has elevators, so I went around the corner. There's such a line. To, to the elevator, so I decided to take 11 flights of stairs. But the thing is, I was wondering, where were you? Where were you? I, my my yeah. co-pilot, I missed you, Jeff. <laughs> uh, it's always so great to see, you know, the, the student athletes and yourself out here engaging, you know, the other students on campus. And, and how important do you think that is with drawing some students into athletic competitions and other various events throughout the year? Well, you know, the great thing about this is, is you have new students on campus. And we have, we have great students all in all, but for us to establish a culture with our, with our freshmen, to establish that Red Hawks pride, to get people in the Red Hawks nest, I think that's tremendous. And I think the thing that helps us is, you know, getting the face of the name, us being out visible, as I mentioned earlier, and, and being, you know, great, um, you know, ambassadors to the student body. That, that's perfect because for me, I, I want to see Hawks Stadium. I want to see the Show Me Center, you know, filled with our students, you know, being loud, you know, cheering on the team, obviously exhibiting great sportsmanship. But I think that benefits uh, everybody and it creates such a great atmosphere. And now you're in your first year as the director of athletics here at Southeast, and you officially came on board uh, May 21st. So how excited are you for these upcoming seasons, which, in fact, the soccer season opens up this week. we got volleyball open up next week, and then football opening up on August 30th. Well, it's exciting. As I, as I told people, you know, I've been here since May 21st, and the timing of that was after uh, finals, after graduation, and, and the place was so quiet around here. It wasn't that much movement. <laughs> you know, you could walk anywhere, you could drive anywhere, you can park anywhere, but now the thing that's so exciting about this is the hustle and bustle of campus. You know, our students are, are back, and that's what it's all about. You know, whatever, whatever we can do to cater our students. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see our soccer program take on Illinois State on Friday. You know, the volleyball is right around the corner, and in less than two weeks, as you know, uh, we'll, we'll be going up to uh, Mount Pleasant, Michigan to, uh, for a football team to take on Central Michigan. And then you've also had, had a chance to go out and visit some of the preseason camps, um, and you're going to be uh, meeting with Cross Country later today. But uh, what do you see out of the team so far? Well, I see a lot of enthusiasm, which I think is very important. Everyone's working hard. Uh, that's, that's a great thing. So everyone's taking on coaching, which is, which is tremendous. And I, I think also this time, of, this, this time during preseason camp, you know, you're a little tired of beating up on each other. I think you're, you're looking forward to taking on an opponent. But I'm excited for the season. I can't overemphasize uh, that. 
and it should be a great fall kickoff for, uh, for Red Hawks Athletics. After getting a nice workout moving boxes and other items up several flights of stairs, Mr. Allnut headed southbound down Interstate 55 for a luncheon at the Foxhaven Country Club in Sykeston. The luncheon drew a nice crowd, and you could feel the excitement as Southeast sets to begin its 2012-13 season. Coaches Tony Samuel, Julie Folliard, Paul Nelson, and Ryan Lane previewed the fall sports, while several other coaches and athletic staff attended to mingle with the crowd. Select student-athletes, including Sykeston native Corey Porter, also made the trip. We continue to tag along with Mark Allnut today. We just uh, wrapped up a nice luncheon here in Sykeston uh, with some of our Red Hawk Club members and other members of the community, which had an opportunity to come out and get a good taste of the Red Hawks as they get ready to enter their fall sports seasons and 2012-13 academic and athletic campaigns as well. Uh, Mark, what did you think of the turnout today? It was uh, pretty packed in here and, and a lot of fun things going on. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a packed house in here. So appreciative folks to, to come in you know, from the Sykeson community to see us. And, you know, we had our student athletes here. We had our fall uh, sport coaches. We had other coaches here just to be able to, you know, sit down and, and visit with, uh, with the fine folks down here. And the thing that, you know, I'm going to take out of this is as people were leaving, they were just so thankful, you know, to see uh, the Red Hawks in attendance down here. And it's a situation where, you know, they're either going to go back to work or they're going to go home. And, you know, they're going to tell other people, you know, about the event. They're going to tell people about – how they heard all the, the student athletes speak and, and what they're doing, what they're excited about from a, not just from an athletic standpoint, but you know, what they're doing academically. They're gonna hear the same thing you know, from our coaches and, and have them talk about the season, but also have them tout you know, the importance of academics and, and how our student athletes give back to the community. And so what happens there is you know, when they get back, they're gonna tell other people about the good time they had and, and it's gonna let other people be aware of what we have to offer. And you know what? They're gonna be interested in coming up to uh, to Hawk Stadium, Hawk Field House this fall, and, and seeing our student athletes in action. Then, in addition to the athletic staff and, and coaches that were in attendance today, we also had some representation from some student athletes who uh, participated in a very nice and, and fun Q and A session, so to speak, with uh, giving some of the uh, members of the community here a better get to know type segment of our student athletes. Yeah, that's and that's what it's all about. When um, when, when fans come to, to come to our games, our matches. You know they're going to see the student athlete on the field, you know, in uniform, you know, at a distance. So in this standpoint, you, you give them the opportunity to get out in front of, of, of these folks and, and just be able to tell them about themselves. And even before that, you know, they're sitting at various tables around the room and they're sitting down, you know, talking to our our donors or our people in the community just to just to get to know them. And I, and I think when that when that happens, not I think I know when that happens, there's just more of a of appreciation, you know, for uh, for what all our student athletes have to do, which is exciting. And then, I mean, as I, as I mentioned earlier, I said academic year because there was academics discussed so many times here uh, today with our various programs, you know, really excelling um, off the field in the classroom. It's one thing to, to say that we're about the student athlete, but as you saw here, Jeff, I mean, it, it's, it's proof that, that we are about the student athlete and it's that balance that we have to have. And, and it shows that our student athletes are doing very well in the classroom. They're doing very well in the community, and, and you know what? It's they're, they're preparing to do very well uh, out on the field. Part two of The Day in the Life with Southeast Director of Athletics, Mark Allnut, will air later this weekend at GoSoutheast.com.